Another move to develop the shipyard property downtown and bring in luxury hotels, condominiums, and an office complex. The city is now prepared to sell Jaguar's owner Shad Khan even more parkland for development in the project. News with Jackson reporter Jim Pickett is joining us live from the site. Jim, what's going to happen now? Well, it was about a week and a half ago I was standing here telling you how Shad Khan closed a deal to buy this property here, the old kids campus at Met Park, in order to build the luxury hotel. He closed on the deal, owns the land. Well, now they're talking about this land right next door to it. This is where they want to build the office complex. And as part of a new deal, he wants to buy this land instead of leasing it. While no earth has been moved and no groundbreaking set, it's expected we'll see some movement in the coming months to develop the old shipyard site. Shad Khan's Iguana Investment Company will be paying $370 million to develop the site by building the hotel and other amenities. The city is making an investment as well, with tax breaks and moving out kids' campus. Khan has already closed on the land deal for the hotel and owns that property. Now his reach is expanding. Instead of leasing more land from the city to build an office complex, he wants to buy it, just like he did with the property for the hotel. It will have a more economic benefit for the city if we do a sale of the property. Meaning even with tax breaks, the city will still make money on the property. Negotiations for the sale are underway. Khan could pay about $3.2 million for about an acre of land located next to the hotel site. Why sell this outright when the city owned the property? And, and I'm just being the devil's advocate here. Right. When they, if something happens, they could just sell it. Or, or is there, are there all kinds of agreements to make sure that doesn't There will happen? be restrictions on it um, that would be how it would need to be developed, what the con commencement date was, what the completion date was. All of that would be there. When I tried talking to Shad Khan a little more than a week ago, I wanted to find out about future developments, but Khan only talked in generalities. I want Jacksonville to live up to its potential, and it's huge. We haven't scratched the surface. I wanted to talk to the Jags today about buying the site for the office complex, but their president, Mark Lamping, wasn't available. Before the city agrees to the sale, they still have to find out if anyone else is interested in buying the land. That could take about a month, but it's not expected there'll be other offers. Groundbreaking for the hotel and the office complex isn't expected to happen until the end of the year. But in a month or so, we could see this area fenced off as they get ready for construction. And you know, I've been out here many, many times over the past three decades, actually, waiting for development to happen out here. It looks like it's close, but again, nothing has happened yet. Now, they're hoping if this happens that at least the hotel and the complex could be completed by 2025. For now, we're live at the Sports Complex, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.